Well, I know West Virginia concerned about him. In fact, I did a shot with the West Virginia radio network. And that's all they wanted to talk about. There's a kick by McAfee. End of Arendt into the end zone about 70 yards deep. Smith has it up the right side. 5'10". He's got a bit of a wedge. Runs into a crowd at the 15 out to the 17. And that's where he's hauled down by West Virginia. Making the stop was Jimmy Lewis. For the Mountaineers, a 24-yard return, and Colorado takes over. First down at 10 for their own 17-yard line to start this game against the Mountaineers of West Virginia. Really, these two programs, Jim, have never met in virtually anything. Right. Men's or women's basketball, volleyball, nothing have the Mountaineers and Buffaloes ever competed against one another. Here comes the Buffs on offense. Cody Hawkins, the quarterback, the sophomore out of Boise. On the season, he's thrown for 475 yards, completed 72% of his passes, four touchdowns, and the one interception. And the Buffs come out empty backfield. First down at 10 from the 17. Ball right hash mark, trips to the left. Two wide receivers to the boundary right, and moving along the front is Ryan Miller. The right tackle took a step backwards, and Colorado starts off with a penalty. Five yard penalty. First down. Now, you know those youngsters up front are going to be a bit jacked up for a ball game like this. 54,000 expected here tonight. They continue to stream in. It's a blackout game. And so the bus put themselves in a first down and long situation. First and 15 now from their own 12-yard line. Again, ball right hash mark. Different formation. Summer, the tailback, quick pass to the right side and the right flat, and it's off the fingertips of Josh Smith. He should have had that ball, but it was not a great pass by Cody Hawkins. He quickly stood up and just dumped it off to the right side. And uh, it's incomplete. Second down at 15 now forthcoming. Now we were told that uh, Devin Head would be the starting uh, left guard. He is not. Blake Barons is there. And Maxwell Tuio T. Mariner, the freshman, true freshman, starting at the right side. There we go again. Second down at 15 for the 12. Just underway here from Folsom Field. Play action. Hawkins rolls out to his right, swings it on the backfield to Noise and Trell. And he is hammered. Coming up to make the stop is J.T. Thomas. The will linebacker for the Mountaineers, a gain of four yards. That makes it third down and 11 on the near sideline. And we've got a West Virginia player down. There was a monster collision. You might have heard the pop of the pads from all the way up here. When Maurice Cantrell, who is a battering ram in his own right at six foot, 250 pounds, the senior out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And there remains a Mountaineer down on the field right now, right at the collision. Bill Stewart is the head coach. For the Mountaineers in his first season, a bit of controversy. And by the way, it is J.T. Thomas, the man who made the tackle for West Virginia. He's writhing around in pain right now and moving his hands and his legs. And that's obviously a good sign as they appear to be checking things up around the shoulder, maybe the neck area. Let's head on down to the uh, sideline. Silt the Har Motors sideline report with Charles Johnson. Mark, I tell you, I'm right here as the young man, uh, J.T. Thomas, is coming off the field. It was a, 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 the precaution was that it was a neck injury and he was down for a minute and was out for a second and uh, I think he realized that kind of snapped out of it but it was a very scary situation he was you know really pleading with the player with the coaches not to take him off on the stretcher so they allowed him to walk off guys. all right now back in the underway with the action third down and 11 for the 16 for Colorado shotgun snap to Hawkins back pedals has time rifles it right side it is caught at 36 yard line to the near sideline a lot of bounce goes Josh Smith and the bus can third can Convert on third and long pickup, 20 yards. A first down for Colorado. Robert Sands is there to escort Josh Smith out of bounds. The Buffs have really uh, picked it up on those third down conversions coming into the game with 46.5. The Buffaloes against Eastern Washington were rated 17 on third down. First and 10 now for the 39, moving from left to right. Shotgun snap to Hawkins again. Looks right, delivers left screen pass. Pa pass is caught by Speedy Stewart. He runs forward across the 45, up near the 46, almost the 47 yard line. He's all down there. Ends up being a gain of six, almost seven yards. Morty Ivy is there on the tackle. He's the starting Sam linebacker for West Virginia. And Zim, you could really see the speed of that West Virginia defense as they recovered on that screen to the left side. Absolutely. Second down and two, making an eight-yard pickup from the 47. Shotgun snap to Hawkins again. Has plenty of time. Rifles it downfield, wide open, incomplete. As at the last second, charging over was Ellison Langster to knock that ball away from Ryer Gear. And if not for Langster getting a fingertip on that one down the left seam, Ryer Gear in his first catch of the season would have had a touchdown. Langster, he got behind the defense there. He did, and Langster came up and uh, really put on a burst of speed and knocked it down. Remember, the Buffs are going against that 3-3-5. That's a very, very different defense from what they normally see. Third down and two again from the Colorado 47-yard line. Ball inside the left hash mark. Hawkins out of the shotgun. He's got an H back to the right. That's Ryan Deanne, the tight end. One running back in the formation. Flanking the quarterback to his left. That's Rodney Stewart. 
Hawk barking out instructions. Takes a snap, looking left the whole way, throws it on a comeback. Josh Smith, the catch of the 50. He circles back around the defender. Again, it's Langster. Picks up the first down, penetrates inside West Virginia territory. Out of bounds at the 48-yard line. A gain of five yards and a first down for Colorado. Two third down conversions now. As Cody brought him way from, from way behind after that five-yard penalty, put him back to the 12-yard line. They had third down and 11 yards to go. He picked that up, and now they're rolling the chain. You know, Jim, that break for that injury might have actually helped Colorado That's settle down those young players. A absolutely. First down and 10 now for the West Virginia 48-yard line. He sends the young uh, running back, Roddy Stewart, wide right. So an empty backfield for Hawkins out of the shotgun. First down and 10. Takes a snap, looks right, delivers left. A little receiver screen, catch is made by Josh Smith. He worms his way inside the 45, down to the 44-yard line. Scooter Berry, the defensive tackle, is there on the stop for West Virginia. It ends up being a gain of three or four yards as now they're looking at a second down and seven on the Buffaloes. Cody Hawkins comes into this game ninth in all-time CU passing yardage. Pass Gail Widener last week and now he has uh, Craig Oaks in his sights. Yeah, he came into the game 157 behind Craig Oaks. Second down and seven now from the Mountaineers 47 yard line. Inside handoff to Robbie Stewart. He sidesteps through two defenders. Worms his way forward inside the 40 and then muscles his way down to the 38 yard line. Very close to a first down marker. We know Speedy Stewart has got the quickness. That time he showed some bull power down low and maybe picked up a first down depending upon the spot for Colorado. You know it's amazing. Daryl Scott had all the publicity mark and uh, Speedy Stewart was sort of an afterthought uh, Rippy the, the linebacker when they recruited him in Ohio he said I know a guy down in Columbus you ought to take a look at him. Buffs looked at him Speedy Stewart's getting more playing time than Darrell Scott a gain of eight yards because it is a first down for Colorado first and ten now for the West Virginia 38 yard line trips to the right along with the running back shotgun snap to Hawkins rolls out to his right sets up to throw rears back rifles it downfield Josh Smith end zone touchdown touchdown Colorado 38 yard strike opening drive and the Buffaloes have taken a 6 nothing lead over West Virginia here in Boulder now I think we know why they wanted the football tell you what all of those plays are scripted and the Buffaloes Used Josh Smith, his speed, his agility to move that ball down the field. Out for the extra point is Eric Goodman. Sidney Glover and Ellis Langster were both down there. And Josh Smith, with his speed, got behind him for the score. Kick is up on the way by Goodman, and it's good. 12 14 to play, opening quarter here at Folsom Field. The Buffaloes opening drive, 38 yard touchdown. Hawkins to Smith. It's a touchdown advantage over the 21st ranked Mountaineers. Timeout now on the Colorado Football Network. End of a run, and the win is going to carry this one through the uprights. That was Crosby esque out of the back of the end zone and make it six touchbacks now in 14 kickoffs. For Jamison Davis, outstanding. West Virginia takes over first down at 10 from its own 20-yard line. I thought that was going to hit the R in Colorado. <laughs> you familiar with the stadium in the south end with Colorado across the uh, back, li back, uh, back of the uh, back line. Beautiful night here in Boulder. It is overcast. There is a slight chance of rain, but the temperature is very comfortable. Great night for college football on this special national stage at the Buffs are on with the Mountaineers 12 14 to play in this opening quarter 7 nothing Colorado first down at 10 for the Mountaineers here comes Pat White the offense the senior of Daphne Alabama flank to his left by Noel Devine tight end Urban shifts in motion from left to right shotgun snap give to the uh, right side as Noel Devine bends it around the corner at the 20 hit right there by Jaleel Brown at the 22 Gains another yard with a second effort out to the 23. Ends up being a three-yard pickup. Jaleel Brown is there on the tackle for Colorado. And Zim, the speed in that backfield between Pat White and Noel Devine is spellbinding. It is. And uh, Alabama and Auburn really both wanted Pat White. And uh, they said, well, you ought to stay home. He said, my mother went to Alabama State. I'm going to West Virginia. Second down and seven for the 23. Ball right hash mark. Slot right, slot left formation. Again, White out of the shotgun flight to his left by the running back, Devon. Takes the inside handoff, keeps it running, option left, cuts up across the 25-yard line, gets around the uh, safety who came up, runs across the 30 to the near sideline and out of bounds at the 35-yard line. There's a 13, making a 12-yard scamper and a first down of Pat White. He is tough to catch. He's quick, he's fast, he's elusive, and a first down for West Virginia. And they say as good a football player he is, uh, he's at good of a young man as well son of a fireman and uh, his mom was a school teacher uh, and he, he's 
Hey, everybody says he's just a great young man. First down and 10 now for the Mountaineers from their own 35 yard line, moving right to left. Boundary to the left, trips to the right. Out of the shotgun, White. Motion now by the tight end. Now Devine leaves in motion to the right out of the backfield, the running back. Empty backfield, shotgun snap to White. Receiver screen, catch on the near side of the 32. Hit ball, pops loose, it's on the carpet, and Colorado has covered up the football. The catch was by Bradley Starks. He took a shot, ball popped up, and the Buffaloes have forced a turnover and have it with 10.57 to play in this opening quarter, leading West Virginia 7-0. They'll have it first down at 10 from the West Virginia inside the 30-yard line. Brandon Nicholas is the man who made the hit. That takeaway brought to you by Outback Steakhouse, reminding you to take advantage of their curbside takeaway service at any Outback Steakhouse. Outback, no rules, just right. Little receiver screen to the left side, and Bradley Starks made the catch as soon as he turned. Nicholas was there, and Maurice Lucas covered up the football for the Buffaloes. So turnover number one in this ball game, and here comes Colorado on offense. First down at 10 now for the Mountaineer 28-yard line. Mark Nicholas was pretty wrapped up with a block and got off of it to make that hit. Out of his shotgun, Cody Hawkins takes a snap, backpedals, sets up with the 35, has all kinds of time, throws it left side, catch by Patrick Williams in and out of his hands. Hit him, and as soon as he hit, caught the football from behind, a big shot by the linebacker, uh, Morty Ivey, knocked the ball loose, so incomplete pass. Obviously, that's not where Cody originally wanted to go. Uh, Williams was open all the way, but uh, Cody waited probably a little bit too long to throw it to him. So second down and 10 once again from the West Virginia 28-yard line. Look at Bus this. Marching from left to right. Slot left formation, backs in the eye, handoff to Speedy Stewart, right side, breaks the tackle, running at the 20, runs up behind the block, and he's wrapped up there by the bandit safety, Quentin Andrews, and hauled down, but not until he wormed his way all the way down to the 15-yard line. Ends up being a pickup of 13 yards and a first down for Colorado. I think that's the first time we've seen the eye formation all year. Might be with uh, Cody they, under center. Cody like under center with, a, with the eye, full back and then the tailback. Well, the Buffs have talked greatly this week about wanting to come out and establish the run, so more of a power formation there. Scott's in. Ends up being a first down, first and 10 for the West Virginia 15 yard line. Backs now the offset eye, tailback is Scott. Pitch to Scott right side. Tries to bend it around the corner that time. The West Virginia defense did a nice job stretching that one out as he's run out of bounds at the 16 yard line. Ends up being. Uh, loss of about a half yard or so. We'll call it the second down and a long 10 as the Sydney Glover, the uh, so strong safety, was there to knock Daryl Scott out of bounds. If you want to run the ball, it's difficult to really run it out of that spread. Colorado has gone to a power offense right now with, with the eye formation. Second down, long 10 from just outside the 15. Back to the eye, dotting the eye. Daryl Scott once again. Throw a bubble screen, left hand side. Scott McKnight, the catch, getting a block by Patrick Williams. Takes it to the left sideline inside the 15. Down to the 12-yard line, wrapped up and swung out of bounds by Ellis Langster. A gain of three yards, third down at seven. Now forthcoming for the Buffaloes. Buffs are two for two on third down. Let's see what they can do here and get that ball down inside the five-yard line. One of them was a third down and 11 following the injury to the linebacker, J.T. Thomas. The other was a third and seven. That's what they face here, third down and seven from the West Virginia 12-yard line. 10-15 to play opening quarter, 7-0 Colorado. Empty backfield out of the shotgun, Hawkins. He's got five wide receivers. A snap, backpedal sets, throws it back at the end zone. High in the air, Patrick Devetti reaches up, makes the grab. Touchdown, touchdown, Colorado. He got a half step on the linebacker, John Holmes, and reached up, just plucked the ball out of the ether, and the Buffaloes convert on the turnover and now have a two-touchdown lead over West Virginia here at Folsom Field. Tell you this, Devetti kid just continues to impress you, Mark. Was a quarterback. Moved him to tight end. He had his chance in the spring with gear out of spring practice, and he's turned into a heck of a clutch receiver. Zim, and on top of that, how about the throw by Cody Hawkins? Oh, he had a man. small window to put that ball into, and Hawkins just threaded the needle with that pass. 13 0. And now West Virginia calling a timeout here prior to the extra point attempt with 10 10 to play in the opening quarter. All right, 13 0 Colorado. So following the timeout, now they've got the appropriate number out there. And Eric Goodman is out for the extra point. Scotty McKnight to hold down the right knee, right hand extended. Snap, spotted Buddha. The kick is up. It's on its way, and it is good. Colorado with a lengthy opening drive, then converting on the fumble recovery. A 12 yard touchdown reception by Patrick Deveni. 14 0 Colorado in this Thursday night game here at Folsom Field over West Virginia. Timeout now to Colorado Football Network.
Well, we're back at Folsom. Quick start for the Buffaloes. This is contrary to what they did in the first two games where they were much stronger in the second half than they were in the first. But they have put 14 points on the board. Ten seconds to station identification. This is the Colorado Football Network. And remember, with every touchdown scored by the Buffs this season, RBC Wealth Management will make a donation of the YMCA of Boulder Valley Youth Sports Program. RBC Wealth Management, member NYSC, FINRA, and SIPC. 14-0 Buffaloes. Long opening drive of 83 yards. Two touchdown passes by Cody Hawkins. The second score came after a fumble recovery. And the Buffaloes, not even five minutes into this game, lead 14-0 over number 21 West Virginia. Langster is now back with Rodgers to return, so they've made a change in the return Team. Last time they didn't have an opportunity to the Mountaineers to return because Jamison Davis nearly kicked it out of the stadium. Again, he's got a stiff wind at his back. There's a wind coming in essentially from the north at about 15 miles per hour here tonight. Davis again puts the foot to it. This one, he sky kicks. Rodgers comes up, takes not relatively deep at the 11 here, making the six yard line, straight ahead 20, 25, up the left side 30, 35, 40, and then he's knocked down across the 40, up around the 42 yard line. A nice return of 36 yards. Marcus Burton, the backup linebacker, out there to make the stop for Colorado. And so that gives West Virginia easily its best field position tonight on possession number two. Mark Rogers, uh, up till now, it had one kickoff return for 26 yards. So not a great kick that time by Eric Goodman or Jamison Davis, I beg your pardon. Now here comes West Virginia at offense. Pat White and company. First down at 10 for their own 42. Moving right to left. Battery side left, trips to the right. Empty backfield for Pat White. Now shifting is Noel Devine. Inside handoff to Devine, runs up inside, broke one tackle, then falls forward with momentum across the 45 up to the 47 yard line. Ends up being a five yard pickup. Jason Brace was there on the tackle for the Buffaloes. Noel Devine is from Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, sophomore, 5'6, 170 pounds. A little guy, but a lot of speed. Yeah, he's not the biggest guy, but boy, last season he had quite a year backing up Steve Slayton. Averaged almost seven yards, making eight yards eight per yard, carry, yeah. eight and a half yards per carry, actually. Second down at five for the 47 yard line. Motion man, shotgun snap again to White. This time he fakes the hands off, runs out the left side. Here comes Speed, blows up the left sideline. He's got room 25, 20, 15, 10. Hit by Ryan Walters around the ankles and knocked out of bounds right at the 10 yard line. You can see that develop as the Buffs got sucked in on the defensive right side. And as soon as Pat White broke out of the open, it was a foot race down the near sideline. A run of 43 yards by Pat White. This guy has got breakaway speed. He has got a huge number, make it 11 career runs now of 47 yards or longer in his career. And he's uh, only carried two times, and he's already got 55 yards. So first down and goal to go from just inside the 10-yard line. Slot right formation, boundary side left, right out of the shotgun. He's got divine flank to his right. Takes a snap, looks left, now runs to his left, being chased by Brad Jones at the 10-yard line, dives inside the 10, down to the 8, coming up to make that stop for Colorado. Was Chappelle Brown from his cornerback position, gain of only two yards. Second down, a goal to go from the 7-yard line, forthcoming now for the Mountaineers. Chappelle Brown, who had the interception that uh, won the game against Eastern Washington, was the Big 12's defense or co-defensive player of the week, uh, actually last week, since the Buffs didn't play last Saturday. Boy, Pat White, he moves around. He like trying to catch a chicken out there, isn't it? Oh, man. My goodness, does he jump around a lot. And, and he cocked the arm to throw that time on that play. Second down, goal to go from the seven. Power formation. Backs in the eye. Novell, Noel Devine, the tail of the tan there. And he takes the handoff and buries his way forward down about the six-yard line. A gain of just a couple of yards. Jeff Smart, the middle linebacker for the Buffaloes, is there in the tackle. The junior from just down the street here at Boulder High School who's playing some good football here. His second year as a starter. Many times Dan Hawkins says when you watch the film, it looks like number 44 in reference to Jordan Dijon. Now third, down, third down a goal to go from the six. Yeah. Well, White hasn't thrown the ball yet, but it uh, looks like this might be the down. Big one for Colorado if they can force them into a fourth down situation. Third down a goal to go from the six-yard line. Moving from right to left. Ball right hash mark. Devine leaves in motion to the left. White out of the shotgun. Takes a snap. Sets him in the pocket. Now runs straight ahead. Has room wide open. Runs in. Touchdown, West Virginia. Boy, he sucked him in. Boy, he dropped back as if he were going to throw, and the quarterback draw went straight ahead, and nobody even laid a hand on Pat White. 7.33 to play in this opening quarter, 14-6 Colorado with a touchdown plus two extra point advantage. 
Well, they gave him a relatively short field, uh, 58 yards on the drive because of the, the good kickoff return on a, on a fairly poor kickoff. McAfee is out for the extra point. He is 6 of 6 this season on PATs. Snap put down, kick on the way. It is up, and it is good. 14-7, Colorado with the lead, but a touchdown by the Mountaineers with 7.33 to play in this opening quarter. We've got a timeout on the field. McAfee to kick off from our right to our left. Pick is up. It's on the way. Josh Smith will take this one about three yards deep. He bobbles it on the goal line. Now picks it up. Runs to his left. Leap frogs a fallen teammate. Runs up the middle. 20, 25 yard line. Hit from behind and eventually hauled down. That one was just about a breakaway for Smith as he bobbled at the goal line. Had to reach back and pick it up. And many times you'll see that because the players for the other team, the coverage team, comes down within their lanes. And when a guy bobbles and it hits the carpet, sometimes you'll see the holes develop in the lanes. And he just about broke that one, a 31-yard return before uh, Trip Hale was there to trip him up and bring him down. Actually, uh, he bobbled the one that he returned for a touchdown against CSU. That's right. That was a 93-yard return for a touchdown against the Rams. 7.27 mark, quarter number one, 14-7 Colorado. First down at 10 for the Buffaloes. From their own 28-yard line, shotgun snap to Cody Hawkins. Drop lane, give off to Speedy Stewart. Brings it right up the middle across the 30. Out near the 31, a two, almost three-yard gain. Reed Williams, the outstanding linebacker for the Mountaineers, is there on the tackle. He has been injured this season, had some off-season shoulder surgery. This is his first action of the campaign here tonight. Second down and a short eight from the 30-yard line. Under center this time, Hawkins turns around, hands off to Stewart, runs boundary side left, sweeps it around the end. Ellis Langster comes up and hammers him down at the 35-yard line. Ends up being a gain of three, almost four yards. That will make a third down and about three to go for Colorado. Buffalo's moving from left to right here in quarter number one, leading 14-7 over number 21, West Virginia. Third down and three from the 35. The Buffs have converted three times on third down. Shotgun snap to Hawkins. Boots out to his right. Whips it near sideline. Catches made by Scotty McKnight. Right at the 42-yard line, he's grabbed and swung down by Brandon Hogan. Now, wasn't enough for a first down. He had to get to about the 42. That's where they've got the foot down. And we'll let the, our referee eyeball this and determine whether it's a first down or not with 626 yeah, to play I think this it is. Quarter. Well, they're going to measure, but I think it is. Gain of three as it stands right now. Again, our referee is Jeff McConaughey for this Big East Conference officiating crew here tonight. And they'll have to walk the chains from the other side of the field, from the east side of Folsom Field to the near side line to stretch them out and see if this is a first down. They appear to get a pretty good spot on uh, the reception by Scotty McKnight. The uh, Buffs scouting team this week trying to imitate uh, Pat White. They used two players. They used Tyler Hansen, their freshman quarterback. It is a first down uh, for the passing. And they used Speedy Stewart to try to emulate him as far as the running is from concerned. Speed standpoint. Yeah. Yeah, he was something to watch, and he's put on a show here already. By the way, Cody Hawkins passing in this ballgame, 8 of 10 passing for 199 yards and a couple of touchdowns already for Cody. 6.26 to play. Opening frame here at Folsom Field. Larry Zimmer, Charles Johnson, Mark Johnson, 14-7 Buffaloes. First down at 10 for the Buffs 38-yard line. Out of the shotgun again is Cody Hawkins. Flanked either side by a running back. Takes a snap. Drops back. Has plenty of time. Steps up. Now decides to run straight ahead. 40. Slides down as he comes upon the 45-yard line. And he's hammered down there by the linebacker, John Holmes. A nice scamper by Hawkins. Good coverage downfield. A gain of seven yards. Make it six yards. Second down. And four now. Fourth coming for the Buffaloes. That's 25 touchdown passes for Cody with uh, those two today. I'll tell you more. Second down, long three for the 45. Shotgun snap to Hawkins, looks for the screen left side, dumps it off, catches made by Speedy Stewart, hit down around the knees as he picks up the first down and dives forward out to the 50-yard line. A gain of five, make it six yards, and a first down for Colorado right at the 50-yard line. And Zip, with that screen pass, the Buffs are allowing that aggressiveness by that West Virginia defense to work against them. They're allowing them to come through, dumping off for those screens, and it's worked well early on here for Colorado. It has, and Cody's keeping a good eye on, uh, on those at secondary because ultimately he's going to get a blitz from one of those guys. First down at 10 from midfield at the 50-yard line. Ball left hash mark. Hawkins out of the shotgun flank to his left this time by Demetrius Sumler. Sumler on the uh, handoff, flip on the end around. Josh Smith tries to bend the corner, and he's knocked down a loss as Sidney Glover, the safety, saw that one coming on the handoff, then the end around and knocked him down for a loss of six yards. Awful tough to do with the speed of this West Virginia defense. 
Yeah, that was a that was a great play there by by Glover. Sidney Glover, he's a sophomore out of Warren, Ohio. Very hard hitting safety for West Virginia. Inside five to play opening quarter. Bust by a touchdown. Second down and 16 now for their own 44. Out of the shotgun, Hawkins. Gives on the inside handoff, bending it to the left hand side. Demetrius Summer sidesteps as he stumbles down. Langster got a shot on him, and then Summer kind of sidestepped his way forward across the 45. A three yard pickup as he's hauled down at the 46 yard line. That'll bring up third down now, and about 13 and a half, almost 14 yards to go for Colorado. We, well, yeah, I think, all assumed that Devin Head would uh, get that start, although in my pregame interview, his coach, Jeff Grimes, hesitated on that. Third down and 14 now for Colorado. Shotgun snap to Hawkins. Has all kinds of time in the pocket. Pumps, throws it to his left. Ball is batted down. Julian Miller, the nose tackle, got a hand up there and knocked that one down. That brings up fourth down and 14, and the Buffaloes have to punt this one away. So far, uh, Mark, they've stayed with Blake Barons and uh, Max. Two E U T T Baron. Let's call him Max. Everybody else does. The punter, Matt Delalo, is back, standing at the 32-yard line up to her left. Ellis Langster, the return man for West Virginia, stands at the 15-yard line up to her right. Again, there'll be a tailwind on the punt by Delalo. He got it up in the air, not a terribly deep one, spiraling. Langster takes at the 9-yard line and called for a fair catch as Jaleel Brown was right there. Jaleel said, I didn't see the sign, but I Langster either. caught it, neither did I. And Immediately the whistle is blowing dead with 404 to play in this opening quarter 14 7 Colorado a 42 yard punt by Matt Delalo No return for the Mountaineers. They'll have it first down at 10 for their own 14 Hey, this is Qdoba Mexican grill today and try the seasoned shredded pork It's slow roasted for six hours switch things up try their fork tender extra lean pork and your favorite Qdoba dish today Visit Qdoba.com for a location near you Delalo had 22 punts inside the 20 last year and that's his third this year First down at 10 now for the Mountaineers for their own 14 yard line following the punt by the Lalo out of the shotgun is Pat White sets up throws it near side catches made on the screen the receiver screen at the 10 yard line Burrow pulls his way across the 15 and eventually hauled down the catch by Darrell Jala tackled by Gardner McKay there is a flag on the play might be a face mask it's That's a game of three yards Lock below the waist oh. offense Number 83, half the distance to the goal, first down. So a little chop block there by Tito Gonzalez, yeah. the senior out of Tampa, Florida, on that receiver screen. Right. Out of the shotgun is White. Blank to his right by a running back. Now he steps up under center, barks out commands. That shifts the formation. Now his divide shifts from the right side to the left side. Shotgun snap, fakes the inside handoff, runs it up inside, stutter step, hit by Sapilli at the 28-yard line and hauled down at the 29. The quarterback Pat White gains four on that scamper. 2.09 to play in this opening quarter. 14 7 Colorado. Good to have Michael Sapilli back this season, a sophomore from Honolulu, Hawaii. Sat out all of last year. Physical linebacker. Able to step up and, from a physical standpoint, fill the shoes of a guy like Jordan Dizon. Second down and five now from the 30 yard line. Boundary side left. This time White under center. Backs her in the eye. Turns. Play action give to the end around to Sanders again runs across the 30 grabbed around the ankles and hauled down at the 34 yard line. Nice job defensively by the Bucks Ryan Walters and Chappelle Brown there collaborating on the staff a gain of four yards that brings up third down and one now for West Virginia. Ryan Walters came all the way from the left side of the field must have read something. He got over there to the right and made the tackle. So third down and one. For the Mountaineers, 1.14 to play in this opening quarter. Buffed by a touchdown from their own 34-yard line. White again under center. Backs again in the stack eye. Noel Devine, the tail of the tandem behind the fullback. Tight end to the right side. Turns to his left, hand off to Devine, hit in the backfield, broke a tackle. I beg your pardon, Sanders. And he penetrates all the way up to the 35-yard line and hauled down right there. Now, depending upon the spot, this is going to be very close. George Hippolyte got great penetration that time from his defensive tackle position and got first contact on Sanders. But he was able to sneak away from him, and then the Buffs did a nice job of cleaning it up behind him with Michael Sapilli making the stop. And now they'll have to measure this one. I don't know, Zim, if they got it. Just eyeballing it from way up here, they might be short. That ball has been placed on the inside of the 35-yard line. Yeah, you can see grass between the line and the ball. Uh, I would say 
it's short but you never know when they stretch out that chain. We've got 55 seconds remaining in this opening quarter and it is yeah. short inches. by about four or five inches. So fourth down and inches for Bill Stewart and the West Virginia Mountaineers. You know you mentioned when you're talking about Bill Stewart uh, that it was sort of controversial him being named. He coached the team in the Fiesta Bowl after Rodriguez had uh, left for Michigan yep. and then they gave him the head job right away and and uh, just last week though extended him by six years. Pat McAfee is out to punt this one away. He's not, not going to take a chance here and that shows respect for Colorado's front four. Yeah, No doubt about that. Well the controversy was that essentially West Virginia's administration maybe made a knee jerk reaction. Yeah, over they the, didn't really make a search. The Oklahoma victory in the Fiesta Bowl because they dominated the Sooners. Josh Smith is back to return for Colorado at the 20 year line up to a right is McAfee to pump this one away for the Mountaineers takes a snap puts the foot to it under pressure by Burton it's a knuckleball punt not terribly deep coming up for the fair catch signal Ooh. with Scotty McKnight there was contact there as he made that catch for West Virginia right there was Jim Lewis the backup linebacker and uh, he kind of brushed up against Scotty McKnight but there's no flag so a 36 yard punt no return bus take over possession first down at 10 for their own 29 yard line with 35 seconds remaining in this opening frame and Colorado on top of West Virginia by a touchdown 14 to 7. Stewart Stewart was uh, I'm sorry Mark I was just going to say he was a, a head coach once at VMI. He, he did have some head coaching experience right. three he, years. He was an assistant for Fisher to bury down at Air Force yeah, during their golden years. Yeah. First down and 10 now Hawkins under center turns hands off Daryl Scott left side cuts it up inside a block and bulls his way forward out to about the 35 yard line Gained a five almost six yards. He was brought down by Sidney Glover the safety for West Virginia. Hey check out the CU bus page at 850 koacom full of interviews behind the scenes videos unforgettable radio clips and a bus audio rewind. Go to 850kway.com and check out our bus page. Handoff on second down. Daryl Scott picks up the first down with a head of steam as he steamrolls his way out across the 40 yard line up to the 42, a gain of seven yards and a first down for Colorado as we have got eight seconds remaining in this opening quarter. Tell you what, Mark, I'm happy to see them go to the eye. Put a full back in front of him, the block, and I think you're going to see a lot from Daryl Scott. And after they set the chains, the first quarter comes to an end. A good opening period for the Buffaloes. 14 7. Colorado leading number 21, West Virginia, here at Folsom Field. Quarter number two straight ahead here on the Colorado Football Network. Moving from right to left now here in quarter number two. Ball just inside the left hash mark. Hawkins again under center. Again, the backs in the eye. Maurice Cantrell is the fullback. Daryl Scott, the tailback. He had a first down carry just a moment ago. Hawkins play action this time sets up with all kinds of time swing it over the middle and it is incomplete that one was thrown behind Scotty McKnight and nearly picked off by West Virginia Reed Williams the linebacker was there the ball was thrown behind McKnight running a drag right in front of those linebackers and nearly an interception thrown by Cody Hawkins. That's the other thing you can do out of that is a lot of a lot of play action but uh, had Cody thrown that one on the money it would have been a good game. Second down and 10 for the 42 quick dump pass over the right side Josh Smith the catch of the 40 yard line run straight ahead across the 45 try to quick hitter to the near sideline he's hauled down at the 46 yard line ends up being a gain of five yards the tackle by Eddie Langster. Well it was a, 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 impressive that Josh was able to get five because usually you have a screen and there was no screen there he was all by himself out there. So third down and five now. From the 47 yard line. Buffaloes have had a couple of big third down conversions in this game. Josh Smith goes wide right. That's the open side of the formation. Out of the shotgun, Cody Hawkins takes a snap on third down at five. Sets up at the 40, dances, rifles it down the far sideline, and it's out of bounds. He had Pat Williams oh. open at the 30 yard line. He had a safety that had pulled up in front of him, and then behind him had gone another safety, Robert Sands, but right in the middle, sandwiched with a, a defender about seven yards on either side was Patrick Williams. If Cody could have dropped it in there, that would have been a long first down for the Buffaloes, but he had to throw that one out of bounds. And so Colorado on fourth down and five has to pump this one away. I don't know whether that pass just got away from him or what, because he was certainly open. So out is John Matt Delano to pump this one away from the 32 yard line up to our right. Takes the snap to his left, puts the left foot to it. Back to return as Ellis Langster lets this one go over his head. It sails into the end zone for a touchback. And so it ends up being a 53 yard punt, 33 yard net with 14.06 to play in the second quarter. 
White out of the shotgun. Sends Jack Sanders in motion. Shotgun snap. Gives to Devine straight up the middle. Brandon Nicholas and George Hippolyte are right there. The two big fellas inside said, no, not in this house. You don't. They haul him down after a two-yard pickup. Second down at eight now, forthcoming. Boy, there's a lot of movement on that before the snap of the ball. I mean, mm. he was moving people around. Well, you got a senior quarterback. You can do that. Yeah, the Buffs have two seniors in those defensive tackle positions. There might not be a better tandem of the Big 12 Conference than Hippolyte and Nicholas. No, I agree with that. Second down and eight for the 22. White again out of the shotgun. Four wide receiver formation. Two right, two left. Ball center of the field. Moving up front defensively in that four-man front by the Buffaloes. Short shotgun snap to Pat White. Fakes a handoff. Runs to his left. Being shadowed out.